Let us now take the first model from percentages which is a very common question in bank exams where we are supposed to find out the total salary of a person based on his monthly budget. The given question here is Samir spends 20% of his monthly salary on house rent, 25% on food, 10% on transportation, 15% on education of his children and 18% on household expenses. He saves the remaining amount of Rs. 4,800. What is his monthly salary? So as you can see here, the monthly budget distribution of Samir has been given here and it says that he can save an amount of Rs. 4,800 every month. And from this, we are supposed to find out what is his total salary. Now as discussed earlier, monthly salary, which is nothing but the maximum value or the total value can be taken as 100%. So let us assume that his monthly salary is equal to 100%. Now let us find out the total expenditure of Samir. So the total expenditure here can be taken as 20% on house rent plus 25% on food plus 10% on transportation and 15% on education of his children and 18% on household expenses. So altogether the total expenditure here is 20 plus 25, 45 plus 10, 55 plus 15, 70 plus 18 that is 88%. So we can say that the total monthly expenditure of Samir is 88%. Now we know that his monthly salary is 100% out, out of which 88% has been spent. So it is obvious that his savings will be equal to 100% minus his total expenses that is 88% which comes out to be 12% and in the given question it is clearly given that he saves the remaining amount the remaining amount is nothing but 12% which is equal to 4800 so his monthly savings are 4800 which should be equivalent of 12% and the question is what is his monthly salary so here we know that 12% is equivalent to 4800 and we are supposed to find out his monthly salary which is 100%. So if 12% is 4800, 100% will be equal to what? As discussed earlier, we know one percentage value, the other percentage value has to be calculated. So simply cross multiply to get the answer. So here we can say that his monthly salary will be equal to 4800 into 100 divided by 12 which comes out to be 40,000 rupees. So we can say that his total monthly salary is 40,000 rupees. Similarly, sometimes the question may be, what is his house rent? We know that his house rent is 20%. So we can say that if 12% is 4,800, 20% is equal to what? And again, by cross multiplication, we can find out the house rent. Or for that matter, any other value can be calculated simply by taking the proper percentage and doing the cross multiplication. So this is how we can solve such basic questions from percentages by assuming that the total monthly salary is 100% and finding out the required percentage. Let us now take the second example from model 1. The given question here is Gaurav spends 40% of the amount he received from his father on hostel expenses, 20% on books and stationery and 50% of the remaining on transport. He saves Rs. 450 which is half of the remaining amount after spending on hostel expenses, books and stationery and transport. How much money did he get from his father? So again as you can see here, the monthly budget of Gaurav has been given and we are supposed to find out the total amount that he has received from his father. Now as discussed earlier, let us assume that the total amount is 100%. So total amount what he has up, got from his father is 100%. Now, he has spent 40% on hostel expenses, 20% on books and stationery and 50% of the remaining on transport. So for hostel expenses and books and stationery, the total amount spent is 40% plus 20% which is equal to 60%. That means out of 100% that he has got from his father, 40% has gone for hostel expenses and 20% for books and stationery. So which is equal to 60%. Now after spending 60%, the remaining amount is nothing but 40%.
Why? Because total is 100 percent. So, 100 percent minus 60 percent will be equal to 40 percent. Now, the next part of the question says 50 percent of the remaining on transport. We have already taken into account the 40 percent which has been spent on hostel expenses and 20 percent on books and stationery. After this, 50 percent of the remaining was spent on transport. We know that the remaining amount in our case is 40 percent. So, we can say that the amount spent on transport is 50% of remaining, which is nothing but 50% of 40%. 50% of 40%. Now, this is like percentage of percentage. We know that 50% of 40 is 20. 50% is half. So, half of 40 is 20. So, 50% of 40 is 20. So, we can say that 50% of 40% should be 20%. So, this will be equal to 20%. So, we can now say that hostel expenses and books and stationery together was 60% and on transport he has spent 20%. So, altogether for hostel expenses and books and stationery and the transport, the total amount spent is equal to 60% plus 20%. 60% plus 20% that is equal to 80%. Now going by the next part of the question, he says rupees 450 which is half of the remaining amount after spending on hostel expenses, books and stationery and transport. So after spending on these three areas, hostel expenses, books and stationery and transport, the remaining amount is 20%. Why? Because the total of these three expenses is 80%. So, we can say that the remaining amount is 100 percent. Remaining amount after this will be equal to 20 percent that is 100 percent total minus these three expenses 80 percent which is equal to 20 percent. And the next part of the question says he says 450 which is half of the remaining amount. We know that this remaining amount here is equal to 20 percent and Gaurav says 450 which is half of 20%. So, half of 20% is equal to 10% and which is equivalent to 450 rupees as given in the question. And we are supposed to find out how much money did he get from his father. We very well know that the total amount that he got from his father is 100%. So, 100% is equal to what has to be calculated. So, we know that 10% is 450. 100% equals to what? So, by cross multiplication, we can say that this value will be equal to 4,500 rupees. Why? Because 10% into 10 will give us 100%. So, 450 into 10 should give us the equivalent amount. 450 into 10 is 4,500. So, this is how we can solve these questions based on the monthly expenses of a family or an individual by considering the total amount to be 100% and then finding out the remaining amount or whatever required as per the question.